If you want to knit a yarn over after a knit stitch followed by a purl stitch, it can be a little tricky because one method will create a slightly bigger yarn over, but the other one will mount the stitch backwards. I'll show you how to do both and you can opt for which one you want. Now, assuming that this first stitch is knit and, we, and this next one is going to be purl. To do a yarn over normally, you would bring your yarn around the needle like this. If it was knit, you'd go ahead and knit. If it's purl, you're not going to have a yarn over yet because the yarn is just in the side you want. So to do a standard yarn over of a knit stitch followed by a purl, you've got to bring it around here and then over again and then purl that stitch. This creates a slightly larger yarn over than if you had a knit stitch followed by a knit stitch. Now, if you want to do it done backwards, but a smaller one, instead of bringing the yarn this way, leave the yarn behind the needle, go to purl your stitch, and holding this stitch here in place, wrap the yarn around the needle, and you'll have created a yarn over here on top of the needle. When you come back to work that on the next round, it'll be mounted backwards, so you can just remount it when you go to knit it.